Welcome to episode four in my video series aimed at helping you get better audio quality in your action camera shots. Now this is episode four. If you like what you see, go back and check it out starting with episode one. But you can also dive right in the middle here. This will work too. There are a lot of great action cameras out on the market. Getting to be more of them and they take really great video. You can get high def, 1080p high def. Lots of little cameras will do that now. But if you've ever done it, or if you looked at a lot of them, you'll notice that the audio isn't very good, usually. What some of the best ones do is just throw the audio away and replace it with music, or turn it way into the background and then narrate over it if they want to be narrating. It's not what I'm doing here and not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about keeping a live narration from your action camera shot. And in order to do that, you got to be able to take control of the noise in the environment. And what I'm going to talk about today is how to use your video editing suite to do that. Now, you might not think to look at your video editing suite to improve your audio, which is one reason I want to cover it. The problem with talking about this is there are many video editing suites. So I want to take this approach. I'm going to show it to you in my specific software and my hope is that you will be able to translate that once you see how it's done in one tool you'll be able to go out and figure out how to do it in your tool it might take um, a little google searching might take some time on a forum uh, might take a little trial and error with the menus you've never done before but i'm hoping that uh, you know i can do it with just one tool one software and not with all of them because <laughs> I don't have all of them. I don't know all of them. Uh, I'm going to take it back to the studio where Dennis will take off from the desktop. Hey Dirt Dad, thanks for the intro and yes here we are on the desktop looking at the software and uh, wait a second this looks pretty bad. Let me get in a little closer. Uh, it's still not going to work is it? Hmm. Gotta get in all the way in. Got it. Oh, whoa. Oh. Whew. Okay, now we're really in the computer screen. Much better, don't you think? So, you are looking at Adobe Premiere Elements 11. I didn't name it, I just used it. So, that's the video editing software of choice for me. And that's what we're going to be looking at as I describe audio tools within the software. Just to get your bearings here, all video editing tools, if you haven't seen much of video editing tools, they all will give you a little preview screen, a little movie player of their own. Down below is the timeline where you can cut and paste your clips and rearrange them and add special effects to them. That's really the high level picture of any video editing tool. The question is how do you get to all the controls? In Premiere, what, I'm going to sh what we're looking at mostly are these two buttons I'm flashing away on the upper right that say Adjust and Applied Effects. So I've got a clip selected here, and I'm going to hit the Adjust. Now Adjust gives you a bunch of standard things that you can adjust, and they're what you would expect in a video editing tool. You can play with color, um, you can play with lighting. You can also scroll down a little bit and see some things that let you play with audio. Don't think this is all there is. You might look at this and go, oh, hey, yeah, you can play with audio, with treble and bass. That, those are nice, simple adjustments, but we want to do more advanced stuff. So you might say, oh, good, let's look at effects, and there's nothing in here. Yeah, the emotion and opacity, ignore those. If you don't understand them, you don't need to know what they are. The way that you add effects in Premiere is to come down at the bottom and select from a list of effects. This is just like adjustments. Um, in that if you look at the list of categories of things you can do you see a lot of video stuff there's color correction there's perspective and stylize and stabilize but there is in this list audio effects let's check them out here they are um, we've got all kinds of wacky stuff in here we got a denoiser dynamics the tool that I like is new blue audio polish so what I'm going to do is take this audio effect 
and drop it onto the timeline. That's how you apply these effects. Right? You, you, the timeline down here, you drop it onto the clip that you want to affect. Now, you notice it's giving me the little uh, circle with a slash through it saying, no, you can't drop it there. That's because I'm dry, trying to drop it on the video. I need to drop it on the audio. It's an audio effect. And so you might now say to yourself, so what? What, where, where, what do I do now? It disappeared. Eh, it kind of did, yeah. Um, you need to come back up to the effects. Applied effects. See, we applied that effect. So now it's included in the list of applied effects. Every time we apply an effect, it shows up in this list. And now there's a lot of ways to manipulate. You can delete it. You can temporarily turn it off. There's some prefet presets here. I like to open it up this way so you get I like to play with knobs what can I say <laughs> it's an easy way to do things the nice thing about the audio polish is it's like dropping on four separate effects all at once that you can manipulate easily the first effect is <laughs> hallelujah noise reduction yes actually it's just noise reduction but it's a dial that goes from zero to a hundred does just what you would hope it would do is increases the noise reduction as you turn the knob up the only thing to look out for with this tool is if you turn it up too high you can start losing things that you want your voice can sound muffled you can actually get rid of too much engine noise I like to start with it in the middle uh, and that's most or less, more or less the middle compression I turn down all the way down which is one one to one Brightness is like treble, but I think it's a little broader bandwidth, covers a little more frequency, uh, and it works well if you want to crank the noise reduction up a little higher than you should. Sometimes you, you can by also increasing the brightness to go with it. And like many effects, I keep it in the middle to start with. Ambience or ambiance is like a reverb, but that is it. That is all, people. If you want to decrease noise, go find the noise decreaser in your video editing package and, uh, and, and use it and experiment with it and play with it and get good at it and, and improve your audio quality. That's really the, the whole story. So what are we going to cover next? We're going to cover the, the wonders of encoding and uploading to YouTube so that YouTube munges your video as little as possible. And in the meantime, everyone, I will see you out there on two wheels. Hmm. Let's play. Let's let's listen to some of this guy talk. All right. And in order to do that, you got to be able to take control of the noise. That's absolutely. Yeah, take control of the noise. And what I'm going to talk about today is how to use your video editing. Screen. Don't talk about what you're going to talk about. Just talk about it. This is very frustrating. And get your hands out of your face. Whoever told you how to make a moto vlog? Oh, you're. Oh, do I? I can't believe how terrible I look. That's, that's, the problem it's, with talking about this is there You talk too much. That's the problem with talking about it.